क्लासिक थ्योरीज ऑफ इकोनॉमिक ग्रोथ एंड डेवलपमेंट नाउ इन टूडेज लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू गो अड एंड वी आर गोइंग टॉक अबाउट द डिफरेंट थ्योरीज एंड डिफरेंट लिटरेचर दैट इज फाउंड ऑन डिफरेंट मॉडल्स ऑफ ग्रोथ थ्योरीज broadly speaking we can go ahead and we can distinguish between four different kind of growth models the first one that we have that is called as a linear stage of linear stages of growth model i am going to talk about what this is all about linear stages of growth model mein kon kon se model aate hain we will talk about those The second thing that we want to talk about is theories and patterns of structural change. Thirdly, we will go ahead and we will talk about the international dependence revolution, and at last, we are going to talk about the neoclassical, which is also called as free market counter revolution. Now, basically, what started happening is that during nineteen fifties and nineteen sixties. the development was thought as a process of different stages through which country must pass matlab pehle aisa socha jata tha 1950s and 1960s mein that if you have to go from becoming a developing country to towards becoming a developed country then you have to pass through different stages of development and each country must go ahead and must pass through different stages of development isi ko hi actually linear growth model name diya gaya this was named as linear stage model or linear stages of growth model economic development has been always thought as a combination of multiple things Now, when we talk about these multiple things, तो उसमें आपका saving, investment, foreign aid बहुत कुछ आ जाता है. These things together lead to economic development, right? And these things, how much saving you have done, what is the amount of capital that you have invested in your economy, how much foreign aid you got, इसी से पता चलता है कि what will be your path of development. It helps developing nations to proceed to the growth path. right development has become more synonymous to rapid aggregate economic growth to so, remember but we said that development and growth are different things jab hum development ki baat karte hain to wo alag cheez hai development basically goes ahead and it stands for overall thing in which we go ahead and we look at uh, health education income everything but growth is only related to income बट ड्यूरिंग दिस पीरियड जब हम इस पीरियड की बात करते हैं 1950s, 1960s, when we are talking about the linear uh, growth models, then during this period beta, development and economic growth were synonymous to each other. उनको एक ही माना जाता था लीनियर स्टेज अप्रोच वॉज सप्लीमेंटेड इन नाइनटीन सेवेंटीज बाई टू कॉम्प्लीमेंटिंग स्कूल ऑफ थॉट द फर्स्ट वन इज थ्योरीज एंड पैटर्न ऑफ स्ट्रक्चरल चेंज used modern economic theory and statistical analysis in an attempt to portray internal process of structural change that a typical country must undergo if it has to uh, succeed in generating and sustaining rapid economic growth ye kya keh rahe hain ki pehle to hame ye bola gaya ki agar developing se develop banna hai to kuch certain stages hain jisse aapko pass karna hoga that is the first thing that happened that came to be known as linear growth model now after this linear growth model came into picture to uske baad dekha gaya ki nahi 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 aapko ek pura structure change karna padega apni economy ka you have to go ahead and change bring a structural change right and if you really want to succeed in growth right then that structural change is very important wo structural change mane internal change hai not just you have to go through some stages but you have to change the structure of your economy right so that is the next theory which started evolving right uske baad jo next theory aayi that theory was related to international dependence revolution theek hai ye thoda political side pe tha this theory started saying that how much are you going ahead and how much are you dependent on the international economies right what amount of uh, export and import are you having with the international world how much is your 
institution uh, dependent on what is happening internationally, right? How solid is your economy if there is something that happens in the international world, right? So it was more of political in nature, right? It viewed underdevelopment in terms of international and domestic power relationship. If you are underdeveloped, if you are in the world, if there is no relation to your country, if institutional and structural economic rigidities are there, अगर दुनिया के change होने के साथ आप change नहीं होगे तो आप underdeveloped हो, and resulting glorification of dual economies and dual societies both within and among the nations of the world. So how interlinked you are with the rest of the world that will tell how dependent uh, that will tell how developed you are. ये theory आगे develop होना शुरू हुई. Again we will talk about these in detail. 1980s and 1990s neoliberal approach prevailed. This is the fourth approach. They emphasized on the role of free market, open economy and privatization of the public sector enterprise. So, three focus raha. The first was the role of the free market. Right? We want to go ahead and get our economies away from the government. Right? We want to focus on more of demand and supply analysis. Okay? Open market, right? We don't want to work as closed market. We want to go ahead and do globalization and privatization of the inefficient public enterprises. If there are some government enterprises which are inefficient, we to privatize them. Right? So that was the last approach, neoliberal approach. We will go ahead and we will look at all these different approaches. Okay, thank you.